right, this is interesting, I think. This is one of those storage tubs, and it's full of the um, dwarf water lettuce. And when I put it in here, a lot of the leaves were falling off, like this one here. Got algae around the edge, and they just fell off, and they sank to the bottom. And that's what all these little clumps of detritus are. Well, in all these little, I, I guess that's where what's attracting them. I don't know, um, but I've got a whole cup full of these things down in here. And what I was doing, got my little shrimp net, and just going back, because I just happened to see them when I was setting up air stones in here, and just catching up as much of the detritus as possible and more will come so I guess I'll be able to just keep doing this and they seem to be in the detritus and then just shaking it in the in the water here I do a water change obviously you can see all the crud floating in there uh, but all that's in here are plants and red cherry shrimp um, and just keep shaking it the detritus breaks down and most of it sifts through the net, as you can see, very little left. And look at them all. All these little, let's see that they're hard to shoot because they're, but there you are, little red curls. Look at them all. I have no idea what they are. I'm pretty sure they're not mosquito larvae. They could be some sort of midge. I don't know what you know, uh, bloodworms are, what their, their their fly is. I think they're soldier flies. I wouldn't know a soldier fly if it came up and bit me on the, well, anyway. And I'd hope it doesn't, because it might hurt. Um, but then I'm just uh, dumping them out in here. Look at them all over there. You can see them. That's just them inside the net there. Push it through. Get them off the, the material, and I have got a whole. Uh, I'm kind of seeing swimming around in there. I know it's not the best picture possible. I don't know if we can do this. All that sediment is full of them because I couldn't get all the sediment out, so it all collected in there. And uh, I think my little juvenile bettas are gonna love this. I'd like to sort out more of the sediment so I don't end up putting that in the tank, but it's not the worst thing I've got. At least I don't think so. Sure hope not. Good. Get my fingers out of the way, maybe we can see them better. Got that glare, maybe we can get out of the glare and maybe we can see them better. Not a clue. Any ideas? Chime in, please. Love to hear them. So I've rinsed them a couple times. Got out a lot of this stuff. Used a pipette. Also to stir them up and to break up some of the clumps of detritus that were in there. And um, I'm wondering if there's some sort of a midge, which is a relation to a mosquito. But some sort of, which is a fly. And if they haven't changed the the, what is it, the family or the order? I can't remember, Diptera. They only have one pair of wings. Flies only have one pair of wings. So I'm not sure. I'm trying to clean out as much as possible, then I'm just gonna go feed them to those, those bettas. And you know what I always say, thanks for watching.